garlic, some chunks on there. Oh, you smell that? Oh yeah. Oh my. That's smelling nice. Oh, that smells really good. Hey everyone, it's Ryan with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues, and I'm joined by a very special guest today. My dad, our owner, Mike Barnhart, is here, and we are at part three of our salmon fishing series. This guy and I went to British Columbia in the town of Euclid and caught, how many pounds of salmon did we catch? 100 pounds? 250 pounds. We brought back 100 pounds, so. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay, there you go, Brian. <laughs> Five minutes and eleven seconds before you hold it. It's a lot of fish. It's a lot of fish. If you've been keeping track, this is uh, going to be our third cook. This is the last part of our salmon fishing, uh, our salmon fishing cooking series. What are we doing today? We are using the tail section of the salmon. Uh, we've been using the, the thick part of the salmon fillets the last two cooks. The tail section is a great one to use. It's usually a little thinner. You don't have to debone it. Uh, it's all clean already. So it'll be great to make a ciabatta sandwich. We're going to be cooking it today on the Cook and Dine portable teppanyaki griddle. This is an electric griddle that, uh, that you can take with you anywhere. It hooks up to a 110 power source. We also offer them in built-in applications. This is a unit that you could use indoors or outdoors. So today we're going to be cooking outside on it and I can't wait to check it out. To toast the uh, ciabatta bread first on this griddle here, it's going to be a nice base for the uh, salmon. One of the best features on the Cook and Dine griddles is that they have shallow dip technology. So with this technology, as it heats up, the center or the cooking area of the unit is actually going to sink down. It's going to prevent your uh, juices and your grease from flowing off to the sides. Yeah, just a few oh, minutes. Yeah, and... yeah. Let's there, that. that's right. perfect. Isn't that nice? That's what you want right there. Yeah. All right, so for this salmon that we're cooking today, we threw it in a marinade overnight. Mike, what's in this marinade? Uh, we got a little bit of uh, canola oil, low sodium soy, uh, garlic, sesame seeds, brown sugar for a little sweetness, and green onion. I think this will be great. I really do. Yeah. This is a recipe we've had in the in the family for over 30 years. So I'm lo really looking forward to this sandwich. Yep, that's gonna be nice. I think it'll probably take about five minutes. And then what we'll do is. Uh, We'll lay the salmon into the bacon grease. Not gonna hurt it at all. No, no, pretty much whatever you can cook in uh, bacon fat's good for me. I, yeah, I'm, I'm not opposed <laughs> to it at all. Ooh, that's smelling pretty good. Yeah, huh? it is. On the portable cook and dine, your cooking area is about 12 inches. And then it just kind of is a warm zone on the way out. All right, so this bacon's done. What's kind of neat about the cook and dine units is there's a warming zone on the outer edges of it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna transfer the bacon over to the outside edges and just keep it warm. And then we're gonna prep our cooking area for the, the uh, salmon now. Now, do you think this is a salmon that you caught or that I caught? Well, based on the size of the tail and stuff, uh huh. I'd say it was mine because I cut all the bigger ones. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a little bit of this marinade on there. Garlic, some chunks on there. Oh, you smell that? Oh yeah. Oh my. That's smelling nice. Oh, that smells really good. All right, let's cover this up. All right, so while that's cooking, we'll just prep everything else. We're gonna slice up the tomatoes, slice up the avocado. Mike's over here hitting the uh, lettuce. So let's get it going. Oh yeah, the skin's crisping up. Oh. oh, they're beautiful. Yes, they are. We'll kind of scoot the bacon in and warm it up a little bit okay. before we put it on our sandwiches. And let's fill their sandwich. <laughs> no, let's do it, man. All right, so let's start with this one. So I'm gonna put that avocado on there first. I'm so glad you cut up more avocado, Ryan. Well, thank you. 
I know how you like avocado. I do, I do. So that's kind of like your dressing. I'm gonna put a little piece of salmon on there. A little bacon. What do you think, Brian? Oh yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Yep. Throw a tomato on here. A little lettuce. that back on there. Man, I don't know. Oh, dude. Are you just gonna go in for it? That looks pretty good, what do you think? That's pretty tasty. Is that pretty good? Mm -hmm. You want a bite? It's pretty good. Oh, you make your yeah. own sound. No, make my own. No, make my own. All right, that looks too good for, uh, for me not to try that, so. What'd you say? You said the avocado was the first move? Yes. All right. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm gonna go with first. Boom, and then some salmon. Yep. Some bacon. Oh, made it. There. Whoa, man. The best looking salmon sandwich I've ever seen. Look how thick these are. Yeah. How thick these are. And this is the tail section. That gives you an idea how big these fish were. Some pretty big fish. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure I caught the biggest ones. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We had a blast not only fishing, but also cooking this fish. You saw us smoke it on the Yoder pellet grill. You saw us grill it on the Kamado Joe on a plank and on a soapstone. And you saw us do it on a teppanyaki grill today and make delicious salmon BLTs out of it. Um, we thank you so much for joining us. If you want to see any of these products on display in our showroom, please come in, come see us. You'll get to see every single one of them. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more barbecue tips and tricks. This is Ryan with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues, where indoor comfort meets outdoor entertaining.